All right, so we're gonna go ahead and install this Panasonic. Uh, this is a uh, WhisperFit DC fan. I currently have a Panasonic, uh, an older model, I've had for years. Uh, it's making some a uh, little bit of noise, the, the actual box itself, not the fan. So we're gonna go ahead and install this one. This one has a little bit of a different mount. Uh, it has this piece right here. Uh, it also comes with an adapter if you wanna make it uh, to a, uh, a smaller pipe. You know, depending on what you have in your attic, you know, you put your electrical in here, it comes with the instructions. It comes with this bracket which folds so it's easy uh, to install uh, once you're doing it in your attic. It does have a fan with multiple speeds and it also comes with a uh, light on the actual cover. Also comes with the built-in LED which has multiple colors. You got 3000, 4000 and 5000 K which is very nice. Nice modern look to uh, the light. So. Uh, we're going to go ahead and install that, replace the Panasonic that I currently have, which is uh, pretty much about the same size. I believe it's also uh, the same uh, CFMs, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, my wife kind of like, likes the LED, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So, uh, you know, all the instructions are basically on your little manual here, and you could pretty much do it, um, you know, DIY. So let's get to it. All right, so you're going to go ahead and mark your cutout after you remove the old fan. You have a template that comes with the kit and then you're going to find out where your joists are so that way you can put your bracket. For now we're going to go ahead and install the adjustable bracket. It has the screws already built in, all four sides. And so in order for you to stick it in a little square, it's flexible, pretty cool. Right, make sure your duct is fastened properly. You do your electrical. Go ahead and slide this in here against your metal bracket, top of the drywall. And then you're gonna put your box, slide it in to both of these slots right there. And it's gonna slide and lock to these here. And Alright, so once you push it in, you have to put the screws in and then those are going to go through the bracket that you installed in the attic. So everything lines up properly, make sure that the fan is nicely squared, right there, okay. This is going to be a little tab that's going to be on your fan, you're going to remove the fan. It has two little screws right there, so it's easier for you to work. You don't want to damage it. That way you have access to this. Make sure that everything lines up properly. And the little tab, the flap here, closes when it's done and then it's, it opens when you blow the air. And that's pretty much it. So now I'm gonna put some screws through here so you could go to the actual, uh, you know, metal frame that you installed and then here too. All right, so if you, have access to it anything there all i have there is drywall so i'm not going to put anything there and that's pretty much it i'm going to go ahead and install the fan the cover and check the plugs all right don't forget to install this screw here and this screw there all right then you're going to plug it in the fan to this one and the light and you're going to plug it in there and there so the different plugs so you can't go wrong you're going to do one for the blower and then you're going to check the, the, the speed that you want, okay? You're gonna check the speed that you want on your fan before you put the cover on, and you're gonna do the same thing with the LED, the color temperature you want. And that's pretty much it. Make sure the fan spins, don't put pressure on it. And, all right, all right, that tab right there, you're gonna use that to remove it later on. And it gets a little stuck when you're pushing it in, and the you know, on the slide. So you're gonna go ahead and kind of jiggle it with it, pull it a little bit, and it tells you right there what to do. And then once it locks in, it locks everything in. So you got the screws and you got the plugs. All right, same thing here. You have a little slider. 
you're gonna pick the color temperature you want. Okay, you have 3,000, 4,000, and 5,000. And then you're gonna go ahead and plug it in. <clears throat> you're gonna unlock these tabs from here. And then these will slide into these two uh, areas right there. All right, so we're done. It is uh, super bright. Um, it is at 110 CFMs. And, uh, you know, um, in this case, the only thing that would honestly would ask for this fan would be a possible Bluetooth option uh, to dim the light or turn it on and off. Uh, in my case, I only have one circuit going up to the uh, light and the fan together. So I use this uh, bathroom in the middle of the night. And honestly, all I need is that little light right there. Uh, it is kind of bright in here, so it will definitely wake me up. And which it has, uh, you know, it's very nice and uh, does the, the job it's supposed to do. But like I say, the light, uh, in my case, I only have uh, one circuit, which turns on the light and the fan. This one's for the three-way for the shower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna put this uh, for the light of the fan, and then I'll leave this one for the fan and the smaller light. Now I also have a uh, motion light. <clears throat> so when I walk in the bathroom, it turns on. Uh, for 10 minutes on the way out i turn it off so um that's just the way i kind of like it in the middle of the night so i don't have to be looking for the switch but in this case uh it's very bright uh you know it's very quiet for the 110 cfms uh, the case looks very nice and modern uh it, like i said super super bright so the only thing i would like is that bluetooth option to possibly change the color temperature and maybe even change the fan speed if, if possible and uh, have the ability to dim it to maybe a softer level but uh, other than that, it looks fantastic and, you know, uh, really like it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. All right. Thanks for watching.